These were given to me um, as, a, as a gift when I first came to Boston. Few among us find our way without someone carving a hard path before us. We know why Brenda Caselius is here, but it is just as important to understand how she arrived. I bank everything on my experience. So many people paid it forward for me when I was younger that I pay it forward now. I'm, 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 I'm certain of it. Strong mentors in a community without means and family roots that have left indelible footprints in education. My grandfather was the president of the Negro Teachers Union in Norfolk, Virginia, and they were fighting for black teachers to get the same pay as white teachers, and Thurgood Marshall was his lawyer. And this is one of the very first cases he won that led to Brown versus the Board of Education. And in her father's eyes, a destiny took shape. He always was determined that I was going to be somebody. He said, you might have to work, you know, twice as hard as a black female. And, you know, the, the deck is stacked up against you. But if you get your education, you can do anything you want to do. You can be anybody you want to be. So I went into teaching and got my degree and have always worked with children who were more underprivileged or had more challenging backgrounds. You bring the joy today? <laughs> Caselius won't be going it alone. Every day, hundreds of teachers, staff members, partners wake up dedicated to enabling the futures of city youth. At headquarters, they call it bringing the juice joy, inclusion, collaboration, equity. One of our school leaders raised her hand and said, well, you know, if you add unity and add the you, you'll have the juice. So now we've been making the juice. The next challenge for Caselius, squeezing every penny out of a $1.3 billion budget. What mark she leaves on the school system, only time will tell. Where do you see the Boston public school system a decade from now? I hope that we are one of the best urban systems in the nation. I said I'm staying for 13 years, but if I'm not able to stay the full 13, I hope I will lead a strong foundation. Nicole spent time with Dr. Caselius at the end of last year, and it was around that time the mm -hmm. superintendent announced that six additional schools will move from a K-5 through to a K-6 through model. And that will happen in September, one year earlier than previously scheduled. Fantastic. That is Chronicle 4 tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening, and we do hope to see you back here soon for another edition of Chronicle. Stay tuned to those Boston Public Schools. Big <laughs> things happening as well. Good night, everybody.